What's up guys, AJ here, and today I'm gonna show you 10 different ways to use the jab. The jab is the most important tool in all of fight sports, and I'm gonna show you 10 different ways that you can use yours. All right, so right now, as you can see, I'm not in my room. I'm at the place that I work, Title Boxing Downtown Cincinnati, the livest place to get your workout in. So make sure you come down, check us out. For now, let's work different types of jabs, 10 of them coming at you. All right, jab number one, the float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. This is the flicking jab, all right? So the flicking jab, you're just kind of sending it out. It doesn't have much power on it. You're just getting it out there, moving the feet as we do it. All right, you notice I'm not even like stepping in a ton. I'm literally letting my arm flick out. Both sides for you, get the ollie shuffling. Jab number two, the long jab, right? So the long jab, the goal is to get as much length out of your jab as you possibly can. You're using this as a range finder. You're using it just to kind of touch your opponent in a really safe way, all right? Because you don't have to get really close. So the long jab, make sure you're turning your shoulders in, all right? So see how my shoulders are square? I'm turning them in, okay? So here we go. All right, that is the long jab. All right guys, jab number three, the jab to the body, all right? Jab to the body, you're in your nice boxing stance, you're gonna squat down and throw the jab. It's still a very long jab, and if you wanna get power in, you kinda lean into it just a little bit, all right? So the jab to the body. Look how far I'm stepping out with this jab to the body, making sure I have good stance and good balance when I throw it, because we're getting it really long. Another thing I want you to notice is I'm popping right back up, right? So I'm throwing the jab and then getting right out of there. I'm really planting off that lead foot to retract, all right? So then getting right out of there because you don't want to stay in really close with your head down like that. That's uppercut city, all right? All right, jab number four. It's actually not a jab at all. It's the fake jab. All right, so the fake jab, it's so important to getting your opponent to react, all right? So a lot of times we don't want to waste the energy or be vulnerable when we actually throw a jab because there are counters to the jab. So we just fake it and we see what our opponent does. So what I really try to tell guys is to really sell it. So I'm still stepping, not as far, but I'm still stepping, I'm faking with the shoulders and I'm only sending the jab about halfway out. All right, so here we go. Yes, so like that. Yes, yes. And then when I do decide to throw my real jab, it's gonna come and you don't even know it. There it is, and then there's the fake. Right back to my face, right back to my face, and then it comes out. All right, number five, the stiff jab. So historically, theoretically, it's very rare that you're gonna really hurt your opponent with your jab. But if you land it at the right way and that opponent's coming in, you can, all right? And this is the way you do it. So you really have your body behind this one, all right? So we're not just planting out, we're actually bringing our whole body in and we're just staying there like a wall. All right, so it comes and you really, if you're practicing this, this on the bag or in the air, almost hold it for a second and just stay powerful there. Because a lot of times a guy could be rushing in, they catch the stiff jab and at least just stop, stops them in their tracks. All right, so here's the stiff jab. Yes. Again, just pause for like a millisecond at the end of it. Yes. Like you're going through the person. Yes. And that arm staying straight. All right, guys, that's the stiff jab. All right, guys, jab number six, the double jab. All right, it's just a jab with another jab to follow up because a lot of times you get a guy covering on that first jab or doing the right things on the first jab, but it's the second one when they put their hands down that you can actually land, right? And it sets up so many other things. So the double jab, you throw the jab out. I don't retreat my foot like this. I throw the jab out and all I do is double tap the, the foot, all right? That gives me more power up from the ground to throw the second jab, right? So it comes out and then just taps back down, all right? Like that. Boom, boom. And you can practice triples too, it's the same concept. When you really start loading up jabs, you even notice both feet start tapping. See that? All right, that is the double jab. 
All right, y'all, number seven, the defensive jab. All right, so this is more of like a theory about how to use the jab. All the principles apply, but this is when an opponent's rushing in on you and you're like, get back, all right? And you're protecting yourself and making it so that they can't just bum rush you, all right? So the jab is you're gonna be flicking out the jab and moving back, all right? So first I want you to just start pumping the jab three times, moving back and coming forward. And then as you progress in that and get your footwork, I want you to start angling off because boxing is all about angles. It's so much easier for someone who's walking you down to come straight forward. We start angling off. All right. And these are not to hurt someone. That's, that's just to shut down your opponent's offense. All right, so you're moving. All right, that's the defensive jab. All right, guys, now we have the offensive jab, all right? So kind of the opposite of the defensive jab. Now you're using your jab to really set things up, but this is not the time to get those really long or stiff jabs. This is just to put something in your opponent's face to get them thinking to set something else up, all right? So again, we like kind of cutting angles, but again, just start with just moving forward with the jab. It's a very defensive posture. Your eyes are wide open because things could be coming. Someone, someone could plant their feet in, in counter, so you're really aware, and you're just stalking them down with a jab. Pump it three times, then retreat. Then retreat. Retreat, and then again, you can kind of take angles. See, I was kind of angling out to the left there, and I'll angle out to the right. You set a lot of stuff up. When you're going forward, you don't want to be predictable. So I like putting something in someone's face and then coming over with something else, all right? Or using the defensive or the offensive jab and throwing an uppercut or overhand, right? Um, or you can set up your lead hook. Jab, 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 lead hook. That is the offensive jab. So I got kind of a fun one for you now, all right? It is the baiting jab, all right? So taking it back to Anderson Silva, Again, it's almost everyone. What he does is he likes baiting people in, showing that there's no defense in his arms. He likes putting his chin out. And then right when the opponent comes in, he throws the jab all the way from the hips. All right, so you got to be quick for this one. You got to be athletic. But it's something you can train, and it's super fun. All right, so you're baiting some, some guy in. He starts getting comfortable, starts swinging at you. Boom. And then you throw that jab out, and then you're right back. So stance is on. And it's very similar kind of to the flick, the Ali flick, because you're bringing almost the elbow up and then using the hand as a whip for that jab. All right, there it is. It's crazy how we got all the way to number 10. But the last one, I'm just gonna show you the jab slip, all right? If I throw the jab, my opponent throws across, I slip, all right? So you can start timing things like that. So I want you to think of your jabs and then slipping afterwards. And you don't have to necessarily slip to one way. Practice both of them, all right? Because you're gonna figure out what your opponent's throwing. You download the information and then adjust, all right? So we're gonna be throwing the jab and then slipping right afterwards, all right? Looking for that counter. All right, and something that you can add to both these slips. If your orthodox stance, if you jab and slip to your right shoulder, you can throw the cross afterwards. If you jab and slip to your left shoulder, that lead hook's there, all right? So practice that too. And get light on your feet. This is a fun drill to just kind of get fancy with. Jab, and then throw that cross. All right, jab, lead hook. All right. Thanks so much for checking out this video. That's 10 new jabs for you to try out. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, come on down to Title, check us out, and uh, we'll see you next time. God bless you and your family. Hope everyone's well. Alrighty.